The sacrifice bun is just that. We're sacrificing ourselves. We're willing to make an out in order to advance base runners and help our team. The first thing that we need to do when we get that bunt sign is to have the right attitude, to want to bunt, to want to help the team, to be unselfish. Once we get that through, we're ready mechanically to set up for the bunt. Our hitter's in his, in his stance. One way that we like to teach it is just a pivot, get the bat out in front, get in an athletic position, a little bit more weight out front. We want the bat in front of home plate so that we bunt the ball into fair territory. The angle of the bat is set early so that we determine the direction that we bunt the ball. If we point the tip of the bat a little more towards the first base coach, we'll feed, funnel that ball down the third base line. If we go with our knob more towards the third base coach, we're going to bunt to the first base side. We want to just let the ball come and hit the bat. We're not jabbing at it. We just deaden it, let the ball hit it. It'll roll in that direction. We'll force the fielders to come and get it and let our runners advance. Relax. One other way that they're teaching sacrifice bunting a lot now is to go from your stance to a little bit of a 45 degree angle with the feet, sink back on this back leg, keep a flat bat, and it's almost level with the eyes there. Again, same idea of setting the angle. If we want to go to first or to third, some people just feel like there's more consistency with that sinking on the back leg and flat barrel. Thank you. Overall, it's an attitude and it's wanting to get the job done and be unselfish. Best thing we can do is to get the ball down early so our base runners can see that downward flight and take off, advance to the next base, and that base can be the difference between a run or not a run and ultimately a win for our team.